what a finish. Unbelievable. Uh, to win by, what was, it, was it two in the end or one? Two. Uh, incredible stuff. Game was kind of nip and tuck for a long time in the first half. And then you got four points after one another just before half time. You were going well and got hit with a kind of a, two soccer punches, really, particularly the goal just before half time. Yeah, two soccer punches. Well, that's the, that's the character of Carrick Shock. They have some super hurlers, like, you know, breaking behind and get those goals. And one on one, they'll, they'll score them all day. Um, I suppose we had to hang in there. We were, we, were, we were looking to be, we were set going into the game, no matter with the wind or against the wind. If we're, if we're within the game uh, at half time, be it a point up, point down, three points up, three points down. If we're in, if we had a chance of winning the game, we'd uh, would give it a right rattling. We went in, I'm probably unlucky to be uh, to be drawn at half time, but thanks be to God, um, we t- a couple of chances came in the second half, and Keith Hogan into the wind, Gale Forest wins, strike and freeze, it's huge like, and then Chris Bulger coming off the line, uh, with a winning minute to go and striking over the bar, unbelievable stuff. Talk to me about the free when you were two points down and you got the free. A lot of us in the stand thought that Keith Hogan's going to slap it over the bar and you'd be within a point again. Up comes Lester Ryan. Yeah, Lester Ryan has been practicing them for the last two years on the trot. Uh, I'm telling you, some strike of a ball. And uh, I knew Lester have a, we're down in uh, Tin Rhineland for the last couple of nights in Ballyrag, and every night after training, Lester practices them. And uh, if Lester goes up and he's confident, he'll strike him every time. And he, he's a super guy. Like So, um, like uh, I suppose in that stage, while we're two points down into a gale first wind, you get a chance in the county final, you try to go and take him. And, and lucky he came off for us, you know. You yourself, uh, Connor, you had to quit the hurling for a while so you know how rewarding is it for you yourself personally to, to be uh, get a county medal now unbelievable <laughs> yeah. it's been like been for the club been for my brother and, and, and uh, just delighted like um, I suppose for us like we've been slogging along for the last couple of years and um, got relegated two years ago and uh, and to see my father and mother and everyone coming up, and you know, this, that's what it's about. That's why we play hurling, you know. And I suppose we're underdogs coming into this game, and uh, it means so much for our parish. And you know, we're a small club with no superstars, but we're all, we're all we all work well together. And and I think going down uh, two years ago and going on a kind of Leinster run, an all Ireland run, really made it for us and brought everyone together. And, and we'll enjoy, we'll enjoy this for a long time to come.